Hey everybody, Tracy here, uh, talking to you today about how mastering your mornings will help you master your life. Uh, my name, for those of you who don't know, my name is Tracy Lewis, and I help real estate agents get financially free by mastering their mindset. And I'm putting the finishing touches on my fifth book now, and I'm super stoked about it. But one of the things that I've really been thinking about is the success habits that took me from a broke, miserable school teacher to making over a million dollars a year, uh, working less than 10 hours a week in the real estate industry. And one of the biggest game changers for me really has been mastering my mornings. Uh, very early, uh, when I was uh, 12, 13 years old, I was very, very religious and uh, was a part of a wonderful church, First Baptist Church of Woodway. And they did a really great job of, um, of teaching a lot about success just in general. And um, one of the biggest things that I remember when I was 12 years old is them teaching us about having quiet times in the morning where every morning you, for 15 minutes, you know, you read a little devotional, you read your Bible, uh, spend a few minutes in prayer. And if you'll do that for 15 minutes, it really will catapult your day. It will add to your day, not ever subtract. You'll get way more done in your day because you've spent the those first few mornings, minutes in the mornings, in quiet reflection. That was a real game changer for me. So pretty much since that time, I've done that every single solitary morning. Um, and then whenever I, I got into real estate, well, in, in college, well, let's not go down that path. But when I got into real estate, <clears throat> um, I, I really started to study success. I Again, I came from teaching school. I read a book by the amazing Tom Hopkins, How to Master the Art of Listing and Selling Real Estate. Now it's just called How to Master the Art of Selling Real Estate. And then uh, right before I started teaching, um, and that the catalyst for me starting teaching, or for me starting real estate, um, was I read the Tony Robbins book, um, Awaken the Giant Within. And I read that uh, at a time when I was really in search mode. And one of the things that he talked about is morning routines. So very early in my real estate career, I began getting up very early. And then as I began to do more of a deep dive into self-development, um, I ran across a Mary Kay autobiography, and she talked about how one of the biggest secrets for success for women was to join the five o'clock club. And she said that you can get more done between five and eight than you can between eight and five. And I never really liked to sleep much anyway, so getting up early was always very easy for me. And so I became a member of the Five O'Clock Club, and I was a member of the Five O'Clock Club um, until I started making a million dollars a year. Um, and uh, that was just always kind of my mantra. So I got to really thinking about what, what got me to where I am, and a big part of that is being a member of the Five O'Clock Club. And I always earmarked that time for anything from five to eight was time that I could spend on myself. I could spend doing something that I enjoyed. I could spend it shopping if I wanted to, or I could spend it uh, reading something that I was interested in. I could spend it writing. That's when most of my books were written, is between 5 a.m. and 8 a.m. And it really became the, the, the time where I felt most centered and the most productive, and definitely have found that to be true in my life I can get a lot more done in the mornings than I can at any other time um, since um, basically 2018 through 2019 uh, certainly full-time since 2019 I've lived on the ocean so I've always gotten up for sunrise um, so you can, I don't know if you can see my view from here I know the lighting's kind of bad but this is the view from our prosperity center see my wonderful rebounder um, but a beautiful view of the Atlantic Ocean we currently live in beautiful Palm Coast Florida and um, uh, every single solitary morning um, I guess really truthfully my morning routine starts the night before so every basically whenever I clean up the coffee pot in the afternoon I make a new pot of coffee and set the timer and um, so I, I really most days I even plan out what I'm going to wear the next morning uh, the night before so what that does is it really allows those mornings to be peaceful and flow much easier. So anyway, uh, my alarm goes off 45 minutes before sunrise. So this morning the sun came up at 6.30, so 5.45 my alarm was set. Um, uh, get dressed, uh, take out little Shadow Bear for his little puppy walk. He always finds a little place in the sun, so wherever there's sun, that's where Shadow's going to be. My friend Cassie says he's a solar-powered bear. So anyway, we go for a little puppy walk, and um, where we live now, it's a beautiful resort community, so very often uh, there's people that are also up that early, so it's a chance to kind of have some love and connection just right off the bat, uh, come in, uh, make a, a cup of coffee, and uh, start to watch the sunrise. Uh, the, the sunrise is here about 45 minutes before the sun comes up. The sun begins to get very dramatic, and sometimes it's even beautiful, more beautiful 30 minutes before the sun comes up than it is for actual sunrise. Um, but then to actually watch the sunrise almost every single solitary morning, it just kind of makes your heart go pitter-patter, and it's a beautiful way to live. 
And uh, once I began experiencing that, even whenever I'm places where the sun, I can't see the sunrise. So for example, when we're in New Hampshire or whenever we're traveling, um, I always still make an, a concerted effort to set my alarm so that at least I'm up for sunrise, even if I'm not seeing the sunrise. And it just ushers in a different kind of energy to the mornings. So um, after the sun has come up, and um, sometimes here, you know, that takes six or seven minutes. Sometimes if there's clouds, you may have four or five different sun rises because it'll go through the clouds and then burst through again. So sometimes it can be 15 or 20 minutes. Um, then, then that's when I start to get productive. A lot of times um, I'm very blessed that my bathroom mirror faces the ocean as well. So I can put my makeup on and see the sun continue to, you know, rise all the way to the top. So if it's a pretty morning, that's when I put on my makeup so I can kind of experience the afterglow of the sunrise. Um, and then anything from that time until 8 o'clock is my time. I do basically whatever I want. I uh, personal study on something that I'm interested in. That's where I watch a lot of golf video lessons. Uh, certainly do a lot of self-development. Right now I'm going through the Tony Robbins Knowledge Broker Blueprint. Uh, now they're calling it, I think, the... Uh, knowledge factor or something like that. I can't remember the new title of it, but I'm going through that course right now. So that's a wonderful course and I'm learning so much. Um, so that's, the, you know, I never ever listen to music, um, hardly ever. Uh, in the mornings, I'm listening to self-development. And I think that that's given me a big advantage as well. So you think about how, you know, every single day I'm feeding my mind with 30 to 45 minutes worth of information. Um, so think about what a head, a jump start that that gives me over your typical real estate agent or your typical real estate broker if every single morning I'm feeding my mind with the absolute best knowledge that there is. Um, so I would beseech you to turn off the radio and if heaven forbid you're watching those morning talk shows for the love of salsa, please turn them off. I used to teach journalism. Um, if that is how you're starting your day with, with news and other people's opinions um, that you are not controlling, it's the absolute kiss of death to your productivity. Um, if you're listening to music that you did not choose please turn that off. You don't want to be at the mercy of some programming that's coming out of God only knows where that's again priming you every single solitary day. You'll be inundated with news messages, traffic reports. Oh my gosh, the worst thing you can think about before you get in your car is a traffic accident. Please feed your mind. Um, I, I don't have any radio stations programmed in my car. Um, I do nothing but if I'm, if I'm in the car with somebody, I want that love and connection. If I'm not in the car with somebody, then I you know pick up the phone and I call somebody that I love and have a conversation with them or I call a business partner um, or I listen to self-development stuff. It really is a big game changer. Um, it's Tony Robbins calls it net time, no extra time. So I'm feeding my brain while I'm doing something else productive. If I'm straightening up around the house or if I'm you know, running errands, anything that I'm doing, um, I'm listening to something that's feeding my mind and, and feeding my soul. So anyway, uh, morning routines, again, they always start the night before. Um, and uh, unless there's a compelling reason not to be up very early, I beseech you that one of the fastest ways to change your life is to set your alarm earlier. Um, you will find that not only will you get more done, it brings in a really different sense of peace uh, and love and connection as well. So anyway, thank you so much for your time. I'm so honored and blessed to be a part of this wonderful Facebook community and uh, love you guys so much. And remember, uh, Realtors get free with EXP. Thanks. Bye-bye.